Pokemon Generation 9, what will it look like? What will it be like? What can we expect? All these things I'm going to discuss in this video today. All right. So, obviously, it's completely impossible to guess to know every single thing about uh, this new generation without, you know, perhaps being on the design team or whatever. So, all of what I'm going to say is educated guesses, stuff that is based on things that we do already know and what not. So, you know, it is a lot of guesswork that we're going to be doing here, but that's half the fun. At least in my opinion, I think um, a lot of this stuff is the most fun, and I do love to talk about the games, and I really do love to talk about Pokemon and whatnot. I've been playing for a long time, and, you know, it's, it's a really fun game to play. So, first off, off the bat, we know that this region is supposed to be the uh, sp supposed to be Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, uh, that whole area. It's very interesting to me. Um, obviously, from the trailers, what we see in uh, said trailers that obviously you start in a town that is near water, near a river, near a lake, near ocean. This seems to be. Uh, in the, uh, the map that we see from uh, from the trailers that we only see for a very brief second or two to be this town in the very far left-hand side of, uh, of this map, which seems to line up with the real uh, Spanish town of Seville, roughly at least speaking. I'm not 100% sure, but... This seems to be roughly where at least it is. This is probably where you start the game and uh, go from there to do all kinds of other stuff. I don't know where all the other gyms are going to be, but I'm assuming they're mostly going to be uh, scattered amongst the region. We can see that most of the Portugal sort of area or where Portugal would be is not having a whole lot uh, over there in terms of towns, in terms of cities, um, at least that are mapped or whatever. It looks like that that's a very desolate sort of area. There's probably a lot of wild Pokemon and stuff over there. Uh, we can see another town that's slightly more to the north of where, in theory, at least your starting town is. I'm not sure what town this specifically is here, somewhere in the Middle East of Spain, um, but I'm sure it would be roughly near a, another small town uh, in that area of Spain. The one that's right in the middle, basically here, um, is right where I think this main town is that we sort of see in, in a lot of the trailers, which lines up with being... Uh, roughly where the real city of Madrid is. Now, that's interesting because, to me, that makes a whole lot of sense because Madrid is the capital. You see this big city in all of these trailers. It's obviously, you know, one of the more major towns, so obviously that sort of fits with it being Madrid or the major city. Of course, obviously, the town in the game is not going to be called that, whatnot, but, of course, you know... That's roughly what it's representing. We can see a small blip on the far right of the screen here um, of this first map. That is another city there just to the north of Madrid or the northwest uh, of Madrid, uh, northeast rather, Madrid rather, dyslexic, getting my directions mixed up. But I don't know what town that could be. That could be any town, uh, obviously, Again, uh, we don't know. We won't know till later on. Probably they're not. They're obviously not wanting to re reveal more of the eastern side of this uh, map uh, because, again, obviously that's near where um, Generation Six in the Carlos region. That's uh, that's where that area is. And when we do see um, more of this sort of side of the map. Roughly, there are two or three more major cities on that side, obviously. Um, 
towards where the Mediterranean is. It's going to be interesting um, to see whether they actually put in anything that you can actually see parts of Africa or whatnot, especially from your starting town. I don't know whether they'd do that, but again, that could be interesting. Um, and again, obviously, the the more interest, I guess, would be in that more uh, right side of the map, the more easterly side of the map uh, right now, obviously, um, to see where it sort of does go. But on this uh, other more realistic style map that they sort of show in the trailers, we do see um, that there is a lot of stuff um, going on along that sort of side of the coast, and we can see a lot more detail in that uh, map and whatnot, but it is maybe not to what the region will actually look like in the game, I'm not sure, because it obviously isn't looking like that right in this game, so yeah, that could be very uh, interesting to say the least about you know, where that is and, and where some of the uh, positions of some of this stuff is, because again, we won't know. The more north you go on that map there, um, the more towards that Carlos region we will get. So I'm thinking again, as a lot of people have been theory crafting, that this sort of area, this northeast sort of area, roughly around there, will be a lot of post-game or close to the end of the game sort of stuff. I think that a lot of the stuff that you'll have to do near the end of the game or post-game will be in that area because they don't obviously don't want you to go in that area that much if you um, if they want to keep you in this region, essentially. This is meant to be an open world game for the most part, so obviously that area will be near to the other region obviously and obviously they don't want you to do too much over there until basically the end of the game or basically till you've finished it so like there's maybe one or two other towns maybe there's another town here i'm not really too familiar with spain like i don't know very much about it uh, there's valencia i'm probably butchering that name sorry, uh, but and Barcelona on that side of the map. Um, so those are the two more major cities that uh, I was able to see on, on Google Maps and whatnot when I was researching through this. But um, so there's obviously going to be more towns and more things along along that sort of side of the map. So it's going to be interesting to see where all of the gyms, all of the cities, uh, all of the challenges are. Maybe uh, this will be a bit of a different region. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there'll be only a couple more towns and maybe what you've actually got to do in this game is something a bit different. Like, because they've got all of those sort of symbols in the, um, in the main city there, it seems like it's a Pokemon League, but it also seems like, well, with this region, it just, like, even from this, like, snippet of a view of it, it looks like that there's not that many cities. Like, again, I guess, yeah, sure, again, there could be more to this, uh, you know, easterly northern side again, but still, I don't know that there's going to be that much of more of the map. Um, maybe a little bit more, but not a huge amount more of the map. It's not like, you know, the map's going to quadruple or whatever. So I just don't see that. I don't see that there's going to be that much more room to put too much more stuff, especially since they probably want the most of the north east sort of side to be post-game or roughly, you know, that sort of area to be post-game or to be late, very late game. Um, sort of areas that you can get to. Um, so yeah, I just think that um, if w if this is a game where you know maybe there's a few smaller towns here and there scattered around, and what you've got to do is you've actually got to find you know all of these missions and all of these other different things, and then go back to like the main city, you know, fight a different gym leader, 
each different time or whatnot after you've completed all these other little quests or these other different things maybe i don't know like i i wouldn't know how this is gonna work but like again maybe all the gyms are in one city so um they could do they could do something completely different with this game which would be cool and would be interesting in a way rather than you have to go to all these different towns with all these different gyms and all these different gyms fitting the 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 town that they're in you've got to find all these uh people or all these quests or all these different things and then you get to face a gym leader in a gym uh in in the main city and eventually after you've done that eight times or whatever you can go and try to beat you know the league or whatever the elite four blah 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 all of that sort of stuff the champion and so on and so forth um so i don't know like again like let's start talking about what the rival team is going to be or whatnot because there's always going to be a rival team and the consensus i guess out there is is team flair coming back or is team flair going to be involved or is some you know aspects of team flair going to be around etc this sort of thing i would say that there would be some amount of that perhaps if this is in the present to that game or the future ish to that game maybe a year or two removed or whatnot maybe even a year or two prior if if that's the way they're going i don't know i don't think they tend to do that very much but again whatever it is you know they'll do what they'll do because they'll do whatever they'll do but again if that's you know what they're going to do then of course like a few things will be recognizable and be in that same vein roughly at least speaking um so obviously there will be some aspect of that because again you're on the same peninsula you're on the oh well whatever you're on europe you're in europe you're in the same continent you know like and we do see a lot of these a lot of the similar pokemon in the trailer and whatnot um roaming around and whatnot so you know we also do see a lot of unique pokemon as well but of course we do see a lot of similar pokemon because again uh they're all on the same you know continent and whatnot so that makes sense in that regard because again they're all on the same continent um so of course pokemon that can walk you know across that continent from one point to the, to the next can obviously disperse across said continent and whatnot but of course certain pokemon are going to be more prone to living uh in certain areas and whatnot of course like maractus or whatnot stone journey are going to want to live in more deserty sort of regions uh whatnot whatever i know whatever that was like stone journey was in the uh revealed in the game but cat uh whatever wasn't uh maractus or whatever wasn't but still um i'm just throwing balls out there and saying hey the, if this area has this sort of terrain and this sort of you know uh climate and this sort of you know types of pokemon will probably be seen there roughly speaking uh then yeah it is it is kind of like well that makes sense um but yeah like it's one of those things about this is a, obviously we'll get more information later and as it'll slowly come out more and more and there's always going to be theories and there's always going to be leaks and things like that i'm not one to look at leaks too much because there's too many times that they're fake and and whatnot um you know <laughs> and things like that 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 is just sort of like well uh, you know you never know what's trustworthy or not trustworthy or whatnot things like this um i think scarlet and violet will be cool cool games i will enjoy playing them uh, i think i'm much more hyped for these games right now than i am playing arceus right now i haven't even got to fighting arceus because as soon almost as soon as these games were announced i was like oh, okay well i'll finish up the 
you know the gameplay for the YouTube here, <laughs> and then I'll then I'll probably stop playing for a while because hey, well, I don't know. There's other things to do, and uh, I don't want to have to just sit here and 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 play the same game again. I don't know, but or whatever, or just grind to get the Pokedex complete or whatever, and then grind to be dark is. I I don't know, but still, it is very much like that where it, where. Everyone always turns to the, to the next game as soon as it's sort of coming out. So a lot of attention has been put on this these games. Um, I think again, in terms of gyms and, and in terms of that sort of stuff, I think we'll see a lot of the atypical gyms uh, in this region. We'll see most of them, uh, most of the regular types of gyms: fire, water, uh, grass etc fighting flying those sorts of gyms so of course you know again and then again same sort of elite four sort of stereotypical one will have ice whatever water sort of uh maybe one will be poison um uh, maybe there'll be a dark gym or a dark uh dark elite four member or whatever uh there'll be a dragon one somewhere obviously one or the other um Things like that, they'll, you know, be a champion of some sort. They'll have a, you know, fairly variety team of some sort that'll fairly high level uh, and whatnot in comparison to the other, uh, you know, Elite Four, whatnot. Um, so, yeah, like, all of that seems interesting to, like, speculate about. I don't want to go too deep into it, but I do want to at least mention that again i i sort of have this you know concept for this game like it would be like you know like different from other games and i would like to see like something different plus it is meant to be this open world game where you can go and catch all these pokemon and do all this different stuff and whatnot um and i think again like like the whole gotta catch them all sort of a lot of people scoff at that, and I do too, um, you know, because it's pretty much impossible. We'll definitely have nearly a thousand Pokemon at the end of this generation. Um, so, you know, <laughs> getting up to there, up to a thousand or more Pokemon is starting to get, well, a bit silly in terms of, well, got to catch them all. Um, but still, in the region, I would say, yes, that's cool, catching, catching all in the region. That's probably fine, but nationally it's much more like, well, uh, <laughs> it's a lot more difficult. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to see a lot of little things from this game. Like, if this is a smaller sort of region uh, for the most part than, you know, than a lot of other games, because it'll be so much, in terms of at least cities... It'll be so much bigger in terms of, you know, wild areas and whatnot. Things that you can go out and, you know, just roam around in in the wilds. And, you know, you have these few, like, home bases and whatnot, for the most part, scattered around the map that you can stick to and go back to and heal up and whatnot. Or trade Pokemon, get in Pokemon battles, um you know, trades and, and whatnot, getting items, you know, things like this, uh, whatever else they're going to put in the game. I'm sure there'll be other little um, side bits to the game and whatnot. Um, of course, fashion and whatnot, because that's a lot of, like, a lot of what uh, us as trainers will, will want anyway. But, of course, these uh, new trainers are looking a little bit dorky. Uh, in terms of just, like, the outfits that they chose for them and whatnot. So, of course, a lot of people want to change those ASAP. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that. it is what it is. But, you know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of different uh, customizations. I'm sure a lot of the other customizations we probably haven't seen. Um, so, yeah, but they'll obviously be in the game. But... Um, you know, like, as far as starters, I don't know. Like, again, when I was saying, you know, this will probably be an atypical region, we'll have a lot of the similar sort of stuff, you know. We, there's only 16 different types or whatever um, in the game, so, you know, we can't see too much variance. 
uh, obviously. Uh, do I think there's going to be a new evolution? Maybe, but <laughs> I don't think it'll be a new type, so that kind of doesn't change that whole equation. Uh, I think Fairy kind of ended the whole we need more types thing. The type chart's kind of pretty balanced for now. For the most part, nothing's too OP. I mean, Fairy's pretty strong, but still Steel and Poison that were pretty underrated, or well, at least Poison was, uh, you know, really gave it something good to do and something to fight against uh, that was probably going to be OP otherwise. So, yeah, but anyway, in terms of starters, I don't know. I would want to see what the first gym is or what the first, like, type of the first challenge is. Maybe in this one, like, again, I was saying, maybe it's more optional uh, in terms of, like, what who you face, when you face, what type you face. So maybe you'll get that option to be like, okay, cool, no matter what I've chosen, I can choose the type um, that I want to go up against and they'll be at a relatively, you know, decent level for me to go up against and I won't really need to worry so the game won't be too difficult or if I really want to up the difficulty, I can um, or whatnot. Like, that's the difference between a lot of these, a lot of, past games i would say that if you chose the right or wrong starter or whatever or one of the starters that wasn't really that amazingly good against the first gym or whatever it was a lot harder because you had to get past that first gym with you know finding other pokemon leveling them up to a decent level and whatnot you know at least finding the right other types of pokemon to go up against that that gym and whatnot so a lot of the um, design now has become like, well, just before the gym or whatever in the areas that, that are just around the gym, there'll be a whole bunch of Pokemon that are of, you know, a type that, you know, has super effective damage against that type so that you can pick up something at least if you don't have something, you know, beforehand to at least go in there with and, and try to take on the gym or some trades or something that you can get in the town to be like, okay, cool, if I level this thing up or whatnot, this sort of thing, I'll, you know, have something that can at least hang on and hang in there for me and, you know, wait for me to help get my other Pokemon online, uh, get enough damage in and, and whatnot so that I can, you know, just win the win the challenge and move on to the next thing, you know. So I don't know, but again... That could be also interesting, but again, I would like to see, like, okay, you know, there's a definite path to a degree as well. Like, maybe the, it will be a lot like um, black and white in some sort of sense. Maybe, like, you know, when you, uh, if you choose the grass um, starter or whatever, you get, you know, to fight the fire guy or whatever it is that's in that gym but there's always the elemental monkey or whatever else that's in the game that, you know, you can go and pick up pretty easily in the first, you know, little bit of the game to go up against it and it'll have the super effective damage against the thing that, you know, obviously had super effective damage against your starter. So that sort of thing would be really great, you know, like that helps you out so much when you're in, in games like this, when you're able to pick up even if it's a bad Pokemon or a medium Pokemon or whatever, uh, especially the Elemental Monkeys, they weren't very good, uh, whatnot. But they were there and you could use them and you basically just used them for that fight uh, because you didn't really have access to much else and then just, like, you know, swap them out of your party once you found something else better. So if they can put in something like that, especially if it's a new Pokemon um, that really helps you out, that would be really great. Uh, of course, everyone wants to see Sprigatito stay on all fours um, and whatnot. Um, so, you know, but again, it's almost always the fire type that becomes like the fighter. So, or it had been for such a long time, but then they started just trolling us with, haha, we're, we're going to make it look like the fire type's going to be a fighting type, and then we're going to make it something else, and haha, you know. So, just a troll. So, but again, it's fun. It's all fun and games. So, you know, yeah, it, 
I want to talk more and more about it. I know that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait more and more uh, for more and more, like, confirmation and information and whatnot to come out because, you know, there's not much out uh, really about this game and whatnot so far. And they could release the information literally as I'm talking to you here in this. So, yeah, I, I'm i sure we will talk about it more and more. And, again, I as I say, know that there's uh, spoilers and there's all this other stuff out there, uh, whatnot. So it is really tough for someone like me that's just sort of sitting here and being like, hey, here's what I think, here's all of my crazy ideas or whatever, uh, they're probably not going to do any of this, but I think this would be cool, or I think that would be cool, or, you know, what if they did this, and, and it would be good if they did this, or whatever, and, you know, whatnot. So, you know, guys, that's all. It's all good, just me having fun, hoping, you know, to bring some entertainment to your ears, to your eyes, you know, a little bit here and there, and that's it. You know, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys have fun with it i hope you guys take it for what it is uh, and just enjoy it so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little uh discussion about uh pokemon gen 9 do you want to see me hear me do more uh here on the channel i would love to talk about it i only want to talk about it though if you guys really want to see it as i say i'm not going to dive too deep into spoilers or to leaks or whatnot i'm just gonna you know spitball ideas and say hey what do you guys think about this do you guys think this is cool do you think that's cool you know what what about this what about something like this or you know obviously as i said you know some things are good and the idea of some things is better than the execution so you know and they've had a few years sometimes uh since like you know years ago to get the execution of some of these things better. So hopefully they will get those things better. But you can let me know all your thoughts. Write them down there in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond to all the comments. I really do love interacting and talking to you guys in those comments about Pokemon. All the geeky things that we love here. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you down there in those comments. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you've just finished watching one of our videos. A bunch of other videos are popping up on your screen now for you to check out, so why not check them out?